uh, shit, what are they called, man? Trophy? Neat little trophy, I guess. There's even a cup holder. Hello, friends. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody is as excited to be here as I am. It, it has been a little while <laughs> since I've played Final Fantasy VII Remake. I beat most of it before. Like, I did everything except for the final missions uh, back on PS4, like, right after it came out. And uh, I just kind of never finished it because I never wanted it to end, really. Um, but, like, it's time, man. I, I need to beat the game. And so once I got the PS5, just it was the I first game that I started playing here. on the PS5. Right? Over. So this is my playthrough from just there. Uh, we are just kind of hopping in the middle because I did just kind of need something to play. Um, anyways, but I want to get back into playing it. It's been too too I long. I've been putting it off. It. So here we go, man. <laughs> gonna gonna play a little bit of this. You're here and you're home, so no Wi-Fi issues. That's awesome, Rue. And welcome back, man. I missed you the past couple of streams. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trying too. Those other days when you uh, when you know you couldn't really be here, be here. <laughs> soldier. Holy shit, Reno is hot. Well, Reno's eye. You know, you've got the eyes at least. You don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from Merc stuff, right? Ah, basically the same thing. Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine. But it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Seems fair. Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> oh, shit. The boys be fighting. Hey, watch the flowers. You heard the lady. <laughs> This is probably going to be bad, TBH. I haven't played in quite a while. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I don't expect this to go particularly well. But, uh, we'll, we'll try. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, okay. Sorry, we, we got this. Don't let him heal. Okay, too late. He already healed. <laughs> I don't remember, like, what the... Okay, so that switches modes. That's dodge roll. That's block. Okay, R1. L1 brings up shortcuts. Reno sucks. Huh? I mean, he's just kind of doing his job. He's he's kind of a, a Shinra lapdog type of dude, but he's not like... I don't know, man. It's complicated. <laughs> he's not really a bad guy, but like, yeah, he's technically a bad guy too. So there's that. He sounds like a douche. Ah, he's not that bad, man. Uh, potion. What's his face? Cloud. He's also strong as shit, so. Sorry, I'm focusing a little bit on it here because I'm a little more worried about this than I probably should be. Where's he at? There he is. I just remember having trouble with this fight before. I don't know, like, if I was just really bad back then or what. Nope, well, we're stunned. <laughs> about that. Uh, shit. How do we what? Get out of the way? We're fucking gods, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> We're so fucked. How do I get to magic? There it is. Magic. Uh, spells. What do I got equipped? I got thunder. I don't think thunder is going to be too good against him. Just throwing that out there. Uh, fear of might, though. Although we could use the health. We should probably actually worry about healing ourselves. More than anything else. 
No, oh, God, the stupid beat down thing, man. He's so fucking fast. Like, do you see him? Oh, well. <laughs> well we just ate that fucking hit, dude. I think, like, our best bet when he's not doing, like, a shock swipe or something like that would be to just, uh, fucking block and then get the the return hit on him there, but, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not go in those. I'm pretty sure those be bad, man, from what I remember. Those things are not a fun time. We'll uh, we'll try and stay away from the the, the lightning balls. <laughs> Can I attack them? I can. Okay. Nope. They hurt me if I hit them though. Okay. That would have been good to remember. <laughs> uh, Reno, you suck. He's not that bad, man. So he's just he's just a company man. Do you really have to fight near the flowers? I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you want from me, Aerith? Oh. No oh, man. Uh, how about an ability? We got what do we got? Triple slash was a braver. Let's go. Uh, I think I missed. <laughs> he did. I did. He got a counter on me. Holy shit! Bitch, forget the flowers. Dude's trying to kill us. I mean, it is like the only flowers in the slums. I can't quite blame her for caring about them. They are they are kind of special. How about some how about some magic? Oh, oh, well that that hurt. This is going to be bad for us. <laughs> well, we killed one of the mines, man. We basically died in the process, but it's fine, right? I'm waiting. All right. Hey, Noodle. Didn't know if you were ever going to show up. All right, so we got, oh, uh, except for, you know, her house. Why? Yeah, that's, that's very true, Chocobo. <laughs> her house is kind of completely covered in flowers, uh, which we should get to see soon, assuming I don't fucking die here. Hopping right into the Reno fight after not playing for, like, months probably wasn't the smartest thing, but, you know, it's fine. Hey, Noodle, thanks so much for the bits, love. I appreciate that uh, as I'm getting fucking stunned by this shit. I fucking hate his mines that he puts down, man. It's the most annoying shit. Uh, just fear him. Needed your number one spot back. <laughs> hey, Silence, what's up, man? Nice to see you today. Oh, God. Do you want to just, like, die, maybe? No, oh, fuck. That was a waste of MP. That was some terrible timing on my part. I'm waiting. Okay, we can attack them without them just instantly discharging on us. See, I tried that a moment ago, and whenever I fucking did it, it discharged on me, so I thought it was going to always discharge on me. That makes things so much fucking easier. Crash your machine? Wait, what? <laughs> like, for real? <laughs> you... Your work machine, you crashed it? How are you so fast, you know? Like, that is ridiculous, man. There is no reason for that. How much MP do I got? Enough to heal? I do. Thank God, because we are, like, dead. That's a hit! I don't like Reno. Reno is a bitch. You did crash it. Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh, how did you how did you do that? Did you like hit a wrong button? <laughs> no, well, now we're getting discharged. Uh, get fucked. Is that is that enough for the kill? It is. Thank God. Well, not kill, but you know. Enough to hurt him. <laughs> You've got it all wrong, man. I just want to die. Cloud, no! Club Penguin mods? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Are they... Sir! Are you hurt? 
Where the hell did Club Penguin mods come from? Go get the girl. Sir. The hell? Weird. You're not attacking. Hey, open it up. Go fuck yourself, Reno. Oh, a crash machine. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Over, over, over. Oh shit, fair, fair. Let me in! Huh? Stupid fucking... Yeah, they're trying what to stop us. Want? Friendly ghosty go goose? <laughs> uh, kind of, but not exactly. I don't... So, like I said before, I never got around to doing the very last mission. Um, so I've heard a little bit about the ending of the game, but I don't 100% know what these ghosts are doing. I know it has something to do with, like, like fate, and they're trying to, to push us down a certain path or some shit, but I, uh, yeah. I don't know all of the, the specifics behind it, because I never finished it. Hence why I wanted to, to replay it from the beginning, so that I could, uh, get all the story in one go, and then, of course, I get, like, halfway through the game, and, uh then shit happens and i haven't played for months <laughs> and now here we are uh but this time i decided to just play back from where from where i left off because yeah i'll go first oh wait wait go back go back go back is it uncovered can i get that thing behind the uh Aerith, can you please move thanks b it looks like we might be able to get the thing down there now the thing that we were blocked from getting before. Can I just, like, jump from here? No. Okay. Well, I tried. Uh, maybe not. Okay, it looks like they're still blocking us. Son of a bitch. Well, I tried. <laughs> You've never played any Final Fantasy game? Really? I fucking love Final Fantasy, man. I haven't beaten that many of them, though. I've beaten, uh, 1, 7, 8, 15... Uh, most of 7 Remake, but never actually finished it. I played enough of 12 that I probably could have beaten it like three times over, but <laughs> I never got around to it. That game's kind of like Skyrim for me, you know? I just play it and fuck around a lot um, and then get far in it and then start over again and then just do that over and over again. So, yeah. <laughs> You okay? There's a bunch of emotional investment and you feel like it's gonna make you cry. I mean, depending on the game, it might. <laughs> some of them some of them are sadder than others, that's others, that's for sure. We bring her in in one piece. I did cry when this one was announced. That's that's a true story, actually, man. What now? Uh, Final Fantasy VII is one of, if not my favorite game of all time. Oh no, you And uh Yeah, the way they introduced it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful, man. Hit me right in the feels. Could drop that. My RTX voice is fucking up, and it's annoying the shit out of me. Okay. Uh. I can't get to her. Be honest, I kind of forget what I'm doing here. Oh, okay, we're going, we're going across. Got it. You cried during almost every Final Fantasy. I mean, that's fair, man. A lot of them do have a lot of feels, like, <laughs> you're gonna cry at seven, you can tell. This, like, the remake, I feel like, well, okay, there's some pretty sad parts, I guess. Like I say, it's not that sad, although, like, the, the original seven is pretty fucking sad at parts, and holy shit, why are we moving across this so fucking weird? Can they not see the ghost? No, so only the people that have interacted with them can actually see them. No one else can. So like uh, Cloud and Aerith and whatnot, they've they've you know been touched by the ghosts. They've they've interacted with the ghosts, so they can see them. But but other people can't. Thank you. Let's move. Yeah, and that's the, these are something new to this Cloud, specific game, like the remake. They were not in the original. Hence why I don't really know the full story behind them. But play eight if you want to cry. <laughs> I mean, eight is definitely uh, sad, but you also might cry out of frustration. <laughs> oh man, it was it, eight's a good game, but it's 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 the worst of the ones I've played, though. Like it's 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 a little rough, man. 
But it, it is uh, kind of sad at the end, though. I will say that. And then uh, the, the little happy ending right at the end, you know? To, to, to lift the spirits. We are out. I've liked all of the mainline Final Fantasy games that I've played, More though. Like, things. honestly, I think you could pick like up any of them and have a pretty us. good time. Stay close. <gasps> so cool. Huh. I'm a little worried about Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. Um, because Part 1 here, like, it's a little... It's, it's pretty linear. Which is fine, though, because in the original, the Midgar section, which is what one is Part 1 is based off of, um, was pretty linear anyways. So, like, that's fine, whatever, but once you leave Midgar in the original game, things open up a lot. I don't know how the hell they're going to make that work with the current, like, setup for the games. Um, but hopefully they do something, something good with it. Two and eight are at the bottom of the list for you, Chocobo. That's probably fair. I've never played... Have I played any of two? I, I feel like I've probably played a little bit at some point, but I don't remember, so maybe not. Um, but eight's definitely the bottom for me from what I've played, uh, like beaten. They gone? Uh, or yeah. Beaten, played so. even, oh, yeah, I guess. Because, I, I mean, actually, like 10, I definitely know. had more fun with 10 than it's I did eight. Uh, 12, even though I haven't technically beaten it. I mean, it's one of my favorite Final okay. Fantasies mechanic-wise. Uh, 7's like my favorite game of all Air time. Right 1's just a lot Should of fun mechanically, Let's. I guess. But it's it's also a bit dated, if we're just being honest. Like, But yeah, 15. 15's good, but man, 15, the thing that kills me about it is just what it could have been. Because so when it was first announced as Final Fantasy Versus 13, it was like a completely work. different game. And fuck was I excited for that game, man. Final Fantasy, but made by the Kingdom Hearts team. Yep. Like, with Tetsuya Nomura's fucked up storyline. and like, <laughs> like, I was here for it. And then and then they completely changed it to something else. That suit from earlier. Uh, he was one something's Sheriff still Turks. pretty decent, but I feel What's like Versus 13 would have been more up my alley at least. Hey. Don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? Play King Hearts Birth by Sleep and you know what happens to Zack and he never got Turks a date with Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> with <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, Aqua doesn't exist so in this universe, though. I feel like that's important to, to point out. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Maybe. Maybe he did think that, man. Hmm? You mad? You mad, bro? I will say, too, when this game first came out for PS4, I was blown away with how good everything looks. Like, it looks a little bit better on PS5, but honestly, like, it's not that much different than how it looked on PS4. They just uh, upped the resolution a little bit, made the frame rate a little bit more smooth, uh, fixed some small issues and shit like that. But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, it looks really good for a PS5 game, too. Don't get me don't get me wrong, but if you had. It's when it first came out for PS4, exciting. I was blown well, away. First time Promises all. that should have been. You still like 15? Yeah. Like I said, same. I still enjoy 15. I still think it's a good game. I just think uh, Versus 13 would have been more more my style. You felt that way too, Chocobo, then you remember it's in Nomura, so there's no guarantee that Versus would have ever been good. I mean, that's very true. There's also no promises that <laughs> it ever would have finished, because holy hell, Nomura likes to take his time making video games. That's <laughs> that's for sure. You're calling a lot of bullshit with Girlie over here? She's hiding something? Maybe. Wait. Maybe not. Wait uh... I remember my first time playing through Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. That gives you a lot of the backstory for, for how Cloud became the character that he is. And uh, more backstory for, for Aerith there and whatnot. Oh, boy. It made me fall in love with these characters that much more. Like, Jump, you chicken. That just proves you're right. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. 
I kind of wish, just for your sake, Rue, I kind of wish I was playing this from the beginning now so that you could get the full story of it and not just, uh, not just, you know, halfway through the game story. <laughs> I just needed something to play because, uh, uh, Jonathan, the Dorseman, he needed a little bit more time to, to prepare for the podcast. Looks and, uh, rusty. so yeah. Oh, first. I was like, eh, I could do Gran Turismo 7 again. I have been playing a lot of that. It's been a lot of fun, but we just did that last week. And really, how fun is it to watch a racing game, you know, that 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 many weeks in a row? So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I've been wanting to get back into my Final Fantasy 7 playthrough. Anyways, and Aerith almost died. <laughs> hey, Nate, thank you for uh, joining us, man. Appreciate you, bud. You can look it up later. Don't worry. Fair. Doris Baby taking up time, too. The baby is. The baby is adorable, by the way. I don't know if he's uh, ever posted uh, Gwen in the the uh, Discord channel or anything like that, but she's adorable. leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. The baby was in Discord? Too much. I thought so, but I couldn't remember for sure. Bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People There's a lot the of reason the slums, why, like, Aerith and Cloud How were kind of drawn to each other, too. All it's all kind of all convoluted, I'm not going to lie, but there's this whole thing with Zack and uh, Cloud greater. forming a special bond with each other. And, uh, yeah, it, it gets a little meta. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a thing. But, anyways... And uh, Zach and Aerith were were a thing, a bit of a thing before. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but before he this time, hmm, I'll go first. was no longer After here. All, <laughs> I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this. Mm. See yourself. Remember, you asked if Silence was talking about Maybe the baby, baby, or the fur babies. Oh, lonesome. fair. Just, fair. Uh, that just hurts even more. Hey, Silence, how are Maybe. you? Yes, Silence, how are you? Story. Fuck all the feels. Oh man, there's so many feels in this story. Not for free. Cheapskate. You're. Ah! 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 And I mean, ah! it's it's a spoiler, I guess, but I feel like everyone at this point knows that uh, Final Fantasy gotcha. VII was one of the first big games. Probably not the first, but one of the first big games out there that intentionally gets you attached to a character. Um. Here goes nothing. Not only a character that, like, is part of the story, but someone that you actually play as, dedicate time to leveling up and becoming attached to story-wise. Uh, and then, uh, spoiler alert, if you somehow don't know, they fucking murder her. So, like... <laughs> yeah. This, this, you the Final Fantasy... <laughs> of course. Only to kill them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII does have some feels, man, that's for sure. <laughs> My hero. That's me. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fucking anyway. emo boy over here, dude. I fucking love and hate Cloud at the same time. Like, <laughs> I can't fucking stand him. But Even I also so, we'll run into love him as a character. On the way. Hmm. Huh. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh, I fought scarier things in my sleep. I mean, he does get a lot of nightmares, so he's probably Look telling the that. truth. <laughs> I take it he means that seriously, probably. Like... <laughs> Have you ever had Someone Kate Sith in your party during the stabbing? I don't believe so, but that sounds ridiculous. I never, like, I have used Kate Sith, obviously, but I was never a huge Kate Sith fan. Um, so I didn't use them that often whenever I would uh, play Final Fantasy VII. He dances? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> our girl's just getting fucking stabbed to death over here, and he's just dancing over her body. <laughs> That's fucking. <laughs> oh, I can't. I I hope that was an oversight and not like something they did intentionally. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I feel like it had to be, right? Like, that's not that's not something they would have done on purpose, right? I hope so. Oh, God. That's hilarious, man. If you like the fur babies, then tell Shroom to get me a Maine Coon. Explain. <laughs> yeah, Maine Coons are the uh, largest domestic house cat in North America. Like, that's domestic to North America. And if I'm not mistaken, they're the second uh, largest domestic house cat breed in the world. They are very large, extremely furry and fluffy. Um, they're native to, like, the northeast of, of America and Canada and stuff like that. Uh, so they're 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 built for all of the the snow and cold and shit. They are large. <laughs> Probably a really jank crying animation. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't even think about that. I haven't seen. It. I'm gonna have to look it up on YouTube because that sounds fucking great and terrible at the same time. Like nobody tell my wife. They're also like a thousand or so dollars for a pure br uh, bread. Yeah. It's well, kind of ridiculous. Of of the reactor. Oh, Rue, since you don't really know the story all that well, and for anyone else who doesn't really know the story of Final Fantasy VII, it's also important to notice that uh, Cloud kind of found himself joining a uh, eco terrorist organization that's trying to destroy the generators that are slowly sucking the life force out of the, the planet. Um, well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm here? Take a short rest, man. That will not stop her. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Oh, great. I'm never going to escape terrorist groups after, even after I finish this damn class. <laughs> They're just everywhere, man. All right, what do we got? Kate Sis theme, uh, buy it because buy all the music. Why not? Uh, I think we got enough potions and shit. I don't think we need any more of that. Uh, weapons and armor. I feel like I'm fine. Accessories. Nah. Materia. Anything new? We got poison. Uh, I'll buy one just so I have it. How much money do I actually have? 7,317. Okay. Everything you recall about Final Fantasy VII is from the Abridged series? Never seen it. I might check it out at some point just because I love Seven, but, uh... But yeah, I don't know anything about the Abridged series. Although, I feel like you or, or Choco or someone, I feel like someone has told me a bit about it before. Highly recommend it. Okay, yeah, yeah, Chocobo. <laughs> Cause I, I thought someone had told me about it because it sounded awfully familiar. One of these days, I'll load it up on YouTube. I usually watch YouTube like as I'm going to bed and shit at night, so I should just like find Let's the go. playlist of it or something. And yeah, it's from the people that do Sonic for Hire and Mega Mall dies at the end. I've never seen Sonic for Hire either. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. I watch a lot of YouTube, on but hunt, more like. Yeah. For me. Mega Man. For you. Okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> no. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets. Ah. Back streets. There will be monsters. Back. All right. Better than Shinra. I mean, you could call Shinra a monster. I don't think you'd be wrong about that. Also, I think I mentioned, but my, my uh, RTX voice is messing up. I should have restarted my computer before I, I did the stream today. Um, so, yeah, sorry if, like, there's a little bit of background noise today. I don't know what's been going on with it lately. Actually, you know what? There's one thing I haven't tried. Let me try one thing real quick. I'm just going to unplug my mic and plug it back in. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if that fixed it. 
I don't know for sure if it will or not, but uh, <laughs> sing more sing mode. What, <laughs> guys? We've been we've been doing so good. <laughs> oh, we've been doing so well. Why do you have to? Why do you have to bring up sing mode now? Uh, I don't even know the. <laughs> I don't even know the the fucking words for Backstreet's back. I'm gonna have to look that shit up. Hold on. Let me let me kill these dudes real quick. Also, Aerith, uh, you can fight people, you know. Like, you're not completely useless. Okay, you're pretty useless, but you're not you're not completely useless. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, back streets. Back. Where where is What's that actually called? What's the song actually called? Everybody. Every everybody Backstreet Boys with lyrics. You sing so much when sing mode isn't activated for like 3 seconds though. That's the that's the difference. About as useful as one shoe. Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit rough there, man. Holy hell. Rue's not gonna go anywhere until sing mode's over. I promise you. This is what Rue lives for. <laughs> I do have like uh, that muted, right? Yeah. Okay. Make sure the music isn't coming over, cause that's copyright city. Man, I don't even know how this fucking song goes. I don't know if I've ever listened to this whole fucking song even. You can sing Tom's Diner. I am sitting in the corner. Uh, I don't remember how that goes either right now. <laughs> Y'all put me on the spot. I forget everything, man. You're dead. That's how that works. Oh, I'm being... <clears throat> Rock your body. <laughs> I'll show you what I can do. One more shot. <clears throat> It doesn't help that I'm congested as shit. Back streets, back, all right. See, that's the only part of the entire song that I know. That way is a dead end. They were doing some construction. Still waiting for the music to start. Halfway. Oh my god, we're back again. Yeah, no, I don't know this fucking song. Hold on, Tom's Diner. Tom's Diner lyrics. Uh Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. This is half of the fucking song is just I am sitting in the morning at the diner on the corner now I am waiting at the counter for the men to pour the coffee and he is only halfway <laughs> before I even argue. He is looking out the window at somebody coming in. <laughs> it's always nice to see you, says the man behind the counter to the Over woman here. who has come in. She is shaking her umbrella. And, uh, no. <laughs> I look up the, the other way as they are kissing their hellos and I'm pretending 
not deceive them. And instead I pour the milk. It's always nice to see you. It's always nice to see you. <laughs> it's always nice to see you. Always nice. Oh, always nice. <laughs> I wish. I knew it. <laughs> oh. Oh God. It's all right. Our time's up now, anyways. <laughs> Trust me, I don't like doing it either. I don't know why people want to pay for that, man. But <laughs> Well, pay points, not real money. Oh, God, if somebody tried to pay more money for that, I'd feel really bad for them. <laughs> like, <laughs> now you go study. Have a good night, Rue. <laughs> uh, even worse, because y'all can't hear any of the music or anything. Just me singing, I'm sure, terribly off key. Because I can't even hear myself. I've got uh, headphones on with, like, game blaring in my ears and shit like that. But... Thank you for only giving. <laughs> that sounds mean when you say it that way. She means it because she wants to be the number one donator for the month. <laughs> and since she donated five, that means she still gets to be number one. <laughs> but don't think she's like, yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh god. Must have been a new breed. How do you figure? Because they went for the stronger prey. Ooh. Subtle dig at us there. Damn, Aerith. You figured? <laughs> I didn't want you to be like, think she was being some sort of bitch to you or something like that. No, she just gets uh, very mad whenever other people take her first spot. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, so back to Final Fantasy VII, though, you know. Uh, now that I'm done making everybody's ears bleed, we can focus a little bit more on the uh, the game that we're actually playing right now. I need to make sure to uh, redeem that so I don't think that somebody already... Or that I need to do that again. There we go. Get that off my screen. <laughs> I keep upping the price of Sing Mode, and people keep redeeming it anyways. It's actually terrible, man. Although now Tom's Diner is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the night. Not even like the actual song part, just that stupid do 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 do. That's going to be stuck in my head for basically ever now. There, check it's it out. it's terrible. The of the slums. <laughs> Doesn't it look pretty? Yeah, Who wouldn't want to live in this actual well, garbage heap? <laughs> Getting tired? Uh. No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. You just watched the second you? official trailer for Jurassic Amazed. World Dominion. So good. You gotta watch it. We will. It Remind me tonight. Maybe we'll watch it before we go to bed or something like that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Dude, how can you not love Aerith, though? Like, anybody who doesn't like her is just a bad person. <laughs> She's so fucking wholesome, dude. Like, yeah, sure, she's obviously hiding something, like Rue said, but holy shit, man. I'm wondering if they're gonna kill her in this game or not. Or if they're going to introduce a way to bring her back after they do kill her. Because, like, man, I don't know. I see, I see it from both Seriously. sides, you know. People are gonna be pissed if they do kill her. But then, of course, there's gonna be people that are absolutely livid if they don't kill her. So I kind of see it as a, a fucked if you turn. do, fuck if, fucked if you don't kind of kind of situation, coming. you know? Like no matter what, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough on the devs. Um, so I feel like they have to kill her because it was such a big part of the original. But uh, are they gonna bring her back, man? I don't know. I don't know. I need to see not for her or for him for for Aerith. How do I? How do I unlock your ability? Conjure award one time only during activation. That's how we get the proficiency bonus. Okay. Conjure a ward. 
Uh, so in this game, each weapon has like special abilities. And uh, whenever you get that special ability up to a specific level, you can use it even when that uh, weapon isn't attached anymore. So you kind of want to like equip each weapon, unlock the, the special ability with it through whatever mechanic, and then uh, move on to the next and then just repeat basically forever. Um, wait a second. Looking at the map here. So I didn't go that way yet. So I probably do want to go up there. It's been so long since I played through it the first time. I don't remember where like all the hidden stuff and everything is. Plus while I'm streaming, I'm only half paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. So I can't remember. Did we come from up here? No. Oh, I, I know I know this area. I remember what this area is. We'll uh we'll see this area again. <laughs> that part always stuck for you. It's when this base signal comes in and he fills it only halfway, that part. See, I'm not a I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of either one of their voices. The more I listen to it, the more like used to it I get and and the more I uh the more I, I enjoy it, I guess. Um, but like when Noodle first showed it to me, I was very iffy about the song, just because I'm not that into to either one of the uh, the singers there, to be honest. Um, honest, uh, obviously they're better than I am. Like, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's just not my style, I guess. Although it is kind of funny watching that bass singer do his thing and all the veins in his body look like they're going to explode from <laughs> from the strain of, <laughs> of trying to sing that low, I guess. I don't I don't know why it looks so intense whenever he does it, but holy shit, dude. Guy actually looks like he's going to have an aneurysm or something trying to push all that out. It's <laughs> it's crazy. Uh where just looking at the map. Keep going. Just keep going. But before we do that, let's unlock. Oh, no, this isn't. Okay. This is somewhere else. Uh, we'll be back here again eventually. <laughs> I was thinking that was the, the door. Because at some point, we should be able to unlock that door that was stuck. Um, so that we can get back through that area much more quickly than going all the way around. You were singing to Silence? I feel it. Like I said, the more I've listened to it, the catchier it's gotten for it's me. Um, well, I kept sleeping. So, like, I, I get it. I'll take care of them. That's it. This one's Dig into you. the soul when you hit them bass lines. <laughs> uh, Arcane Ward? I think that's the one that we gotta do. Let's get serious. I think that's the one, right? Soul Drain, unleash an attack that absorbs MP. Thunder Ward attack spells cast within the ward will automatically be cast twice. Oh. So I, I should have just like not moved actually. And catch. One more shot. I should probably give her like some materia or something too. That would probably be smart thing to do, but meh. That wasn't so bad. Whoever said I was smart anyways. Uh, that dude blew up. Bye-bye. Is there any stuff that we need to get? There's the door. Okay. That door that was stuck. Maybe yeah. it opened from this side? I hate whenever games do this sort of stuff, man. It's very nitpicky, but like why why do I have to hold the triangle button to open that? Why can't I just hit it? Like <laughs> it's not like it would be one thing. The PS5 has the adaptive triggers. So, like, you can actually feel, like, I'll things getting you. tighter, harder to pull, whatever. Like, uh, if they did something like that, that would be one thing. But, like, they don't. It's just... It's just... Holding the triangle button. It literally does nothing. I don't know why <laughs> they make you, make you hold it. It just feels, feels like... A little bit of a waste of time. I'm not going to lie, man. Okay, so it wants me to go this way. We came from that way, so yeah. Go the way the game's telling us to. For now.
I hate like in RPGs, I feel like I have to get everything. Even though I've played through 99% of this game already, I still feel like I need to collect everything. Also, can I just for one moment, can I complain about this? <laughs> like you see these textures? Why do these random textures look like ass in that door? Look at that door. You have this whole game looking so fucking good. Look at this wall, man. Look at it. It looks great. Cloud looks great. The ground down there looks great. Everything fucking looks great. And then you have random things like this where presumably the, the high quality textures just never load. And it's like, why? How how do you fuck that up, man? Like, <laughs> like and that like random just completely black strip in front of it and it's so muddy and it just ruins a, a an otherwise beautiful looking game. Like that, that jug right there, I just, man, come on. Square Enix, what are you doing, man? Shaking my damn head, you know what I mean? That sucks. Anyways, at the end of the day, it's not actually all that big of a deal. But still, it, it, it bugs me nonetheless. Because it, it feels like it would be something that's a relatively easy fix. I don't know, obviously, I, I haven't made any of the code for, for fucking Final Fantasy VII. I have no idea. I'm sure it's it's a very complicated game and all, but holy shit, dude. Plus, it's an Unreal Engine game as well. So, I mean, you would think the Unreal Engine team would have all this sort of shit figured out. What's worse is Barrett's lip sync. Is it that bad? I, I don't know if I've ever noticed, but holy hell. I feel, I feel like it's got to be pretty damn yeah, bad to be worse that than that. Like, trick. it's a very nitpicky thing, though. At the end of the day, like, if you didn't stop and really look at it, you would hardly notice it. You know, like coming up here, it's obvious for a second, and then as soon as you round the corner, it's gone. So, like, it's not actually that big of a deal, but it irritates me. Specifically, the the one door around Cloud's apartment area. Because, like, that's an area that you visit over and over and over again. And at least on the PS4 version of it, it was always fucked up every single time I would go to the apartment. It's like, how did no QA tester notice that whenever they were, you know, presumably <laughs> quality testing the game? Like, how did no one pick up on that door always being fucked up? And I know it wasn't just me because it was all over the internet of people having that, that same problem with that one specific door never loading its textures nice in work. properly. Always using the uh, the low quality textures. Yes, we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Didn't notice it most of the <laughs> game, but the scene after getting every song jumped out to you. Huh? Did I get every song to the game? Probably not. Cause uh when I say I didn't finish like the last mission, what I mean is the the last time you get sent up to the top of Midgar to finish it off that's the only thing mission wise that i didn't do i i, I want to say i completed all of the other stuff i know i did all the side missions at least but hey psycho what's up man and stretch i shall i shall stretch that sounds like a good idea to me Since I was up stretching anyways, I figured it was a good time to turn the AC on a little bit. For some reason, it gets extra hot in my room, man, where I where I play video games at. It gets fucking warm in here. It's ridiculous. Guess we can go either direction. We haven't really gone to. Uh, okay, I remember this one. This one has the things in it, but I don't, yeah, I don't think we can go there yet. So yet another area that we shall return to later at some time. For now, we are just beelining for, for Aerith's house, essentially. Uh, but anyways, yeah. One of these days, man, I should... Or I could boot up the game on my PS4 and see what I'm missing. But uh, the plan is, is just to basically, you know, beat the game here on the PS5. So fuck it, I guess. <laughs> Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. We'd come at us any time. I always found it a little bit funny how things get pushed around so easily. 
glad I moved her. Like all of the all Somewhere of the broken stuff and whatnot. On the ground. Like some of that shit looks like it'd be pretty heavy and it just kinda glides around on the ground. Again, very nitpicky, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but it's just kinda always stuck out to me, made me made me giggle a little bit to myself. Just breaking a lot of shit up and pushing it all over the place or having it just fly across the room. <laughs> like <laughs> what are they watching? You find it funny that hey. the sword is bigger than you are? That's that's fair too. Like, <laughs> Shinra's chairs, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, founder badge. So again, for anyone who doesn't know, we kind of found ourselves mixed in with a uh, eco terrorist group. Um, that's what the newscast is about. Uh, but in this game, at least in the remake, Shinra makes it much, much worse than what we've actually done. Like, when we blew up the power plant, it was actually aimed at just being enough to shut it down in the remake. Um, but Shinra took steps to completely blow it up, like, big-ass boom sort of deal. The situation is under control. I don't know if they really say why. I guess to just kind of blame everything on Avalanche, the eco terrorist group. So they're just trying to make it seem like they're worse than they really are? The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. Hi guys, that's that's my group. There's Barrett and Jesse and Biggs and Wedge. And given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What no worries. Do you think? Uh, well, uh. <laughs> 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 Have no fear. I love how she just kicks the cameraman down on the ground like that. Like, dude, what are you doing? Like, okay, time's up. <laughs> how do people like think Shinra's okay with shit like that going on? Do you imagine if like the the I don't know what's a large company, man? Microsoft, right? Like some top official at Microsoft just kicked someone over to the ground and then stood over them and said some ignorant shit like that, like. <laughs> Like, dude, <laughs> uh, people would be pissed, but it's Shinra, so that's fine. No one cares. Whatever, man. Spices are so important. Exactly. I help out every now and then. It's fun. Well, uh, we'll get to explore more of this town later on. Right now, we're kind of just focused on getting her her home. Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary, and currently my bodyguard. That's, That's me. Oats. See you. You too. <laughs> okay. Two peas in a pod. Wait, are you are you comparing me to that child? Excuse me, children. Don't you know it's not nice to just run full force into people? So, what are you guys she can't to? tell she's a we little bit uh popular oh, right. <laughs> down here to the house. Uh, what for I don't know you're just supposed to well guess we have a new destination I should probably explain the leaf Do house it. is the local orphanage that's where all these kids live hey Aaron where'd you go the church again next time we should all go together I don't know if little kids like you should be walking around out there, man. Hello, Eris. There's some creepy ass monsters trying to I murder see. people. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. Hey, another five bits. Thank you so people. much, Noodle. I appreciate no that, love. No problem. Anytime. How do you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? <laughs> hmm. it out. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I, just, I don't understand why you just randomly send that emote so all the time. I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yeah. So, so generous. <laughs> just <I> fucking... <laughs> the way she just like runs into that chair just knocking there it over. See what I mean though about like objects in the world just fucking flying this. around in Sorry stupid ways. Like... Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. 
What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Once they're ready to eat, I'll bring some to your place, Aaron. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, kid. I want to grow up and be just like Jesse. Just like Jesse? How do you know Jesse? So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? Foreshadowing. Oh, same to me. Huh. Stop you being sure so emo, Cloud. Holy shit. Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower? I a lot of head tilts and I, bending uh, forward slightly. You give it away? She's cute. Deal with Ooh, it. <laughs> Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm. Don't what? recall my ass. Thought you didn't like lying. Well, anyway. Cloud finds himself in a little bit of a love triangle between Tifa and Aerith. It's funny because it's Cloud. <laughs> a waterfall in the ghetto. Yeah. Perfectly normal, man. My house is just up this path. <laughs> Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. This place is very pretty, though. I can understand, like, she's going on about how, like, so many people don't like the slums and whatnot, but there she doesn't get it because she likes house. it. It's yeah, well, you amazing. see the other people are living in actual trash. Here's your fucking house. Like, no wonder you don't mind it, man. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, there's some trash up there and over there and whatnot. But you have a literal waterfall over there, this sick-ass pond, all these flowers and shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you basically have a fucking mansion out here, dude. No wonder you don't mind living in the ghetto. Like, goddamn, check your privilege, girl. <laughs> I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. T so... This is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? That's the plan. Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <sighs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom, I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay, but why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. Listen to Mother. will have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Mother knows best. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? Priceless reward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my lord. How can you not back. love her, Noodle? <laughs> she is perfect. You can't make fun <laughs> of Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? She is. It must be tough. No, never mind. Speak your mm. mind, woman. Let it all out. Go ahead. Mm. Tell me now. Don't make me wait. Mm. She's invasive. <laughs> she seems almost overly happy. She has a tragic fucking backstory, man. It's a uh, coping mechanism that she's using actually okay for your for your information her parents are dead and she hears the voices of everyone like <laughs> she the dead literally speak to her all the time <laughs> oh <laughs> you don't like overly happy that's no, fair it really is like a coping mechanism though the whole thing that she does like yeah that's just how she deals with everything Huh. Holy fuck, dude, it's bright. Look at this shit, though, man. It's so fucking pretty. Like, even with all the trash, this would be an amazing place to live. Fuck. Anyways, okay. Back outside we go. She is a little bit invasive, though. I will, I will give you that as well. 
But I don't know. Part of her charm, I guess. <laughs> you take this one. <laughs> I just I love Cloud the Mercenary picking flowers, dude. Holding a little flower basket and shit. Right. So Off cute. So cute. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. All right. So yeah, now we get to uh if I remember correctly, we get to just pick some uh some flowers and depending on what we pick we get different results um i don't remember like what does what though i'll be completely honest with you which ones do you think we should pick any of them oh don't be like that i know you have an eye for this kind of thing choose flowers to deliver to the leaf house press triangle when you are close to a garden to pick flowers the decorations at the leaf house change depending on the colors you select um. Mm, mm, let's do what are what are these? Can I? Oxtails, huh? I oh, got a hand wait, does that pick one? Would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. Okay, I guess we're doing foxtails. <laughs> I think we still need a few more. Which should we I, pick next? I think. Um. I'm trying to I'm trying to look here. I think it's like if you do a three of the same, she you said, get a special as as you can carry, decoration. So but they all have to be the same kind. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just gonna pick all foxtails because that's the first one that I clicked on, and Cloud doesn't care. He said now. as much, right? What do you say? <laughs> Shall we go? The invasiveness come back to haunt her a little bit. Yep. Told you about the coffee guy who was way too happy way too early in the morning. Like, dude, chill. <laughs> Some people are just nice, Noodle. Like, that's that's okay. People are allowed to be nice sometimes. Also, hold up. I don't remember for sure, but is there a Materia hidden in here? I know there is in the original Final Fantasy VII for PS1, but I don't remember if there is in... The remake here. Holy hell, I wish we could walk just a little bit faster. <laughs> okay, there's nothing up here. But is there one down there? On the other path, maybe? I wish we could walk just a little bit faster, please. <laughs> Holy fuck. Come on, game. Maybe, is it up in there? Question mark? There may not even be one. Like, I know there was in the original. If I remember correctly, I think it was the All Materia or something like that. That's a game that I actually need to play on stream because I've beaten that one a couple of times, so I actually know a little bit about it. Um, And even though it's been a few years since I've beaten it, I, I feel like I would probably remember a fair bit. So I could actually, like, you know, be decent at a game. <laughs> not not good, to be clear. Decent. That's that's all I can promise. <laughs> Even that might be a little bit much. But now I'm not I'm not seeing anything. So either we missed our opportunity or they didn't put it here. Or they didn't put one here yet. Could be any of those, I suppose. I really don't remember though. Also, holy hell, it is uh Almost time for ad blah, for for Twitch forcing me to do an ad. Um, now, normally on Sundays we'd be doing the podcast, so we only actually go until about one thirty. That's why I was so late tonight because I thought we were going to be doing the podcast, so I didn't really worry about uh, you know, starting up at my normal eleven thirty ish time. But. Do we want to take a break and then do like another 15, 20 minutes, or do we just want to end the stream? I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure I don't know what we done, should do. It feels kind of dumb taking a break, streaming for 15 minutes, and then picking back up again. So maybe we'll just try and get to the uh, to the end of this little side quest here with the flowers, and then and then call it a night. But if you guys want to see more of Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm more than happy to play more of it. I plan on playing more of it in my own time. 
if uh, if we don't do it on stream, because like I was saying, I definitely want to I definitely want to actually beat it this time. That's the the whole reason why I loaded it up on PS5. So if y'all want to see it on stream, that would be dope. But if not, that's perfectly fine too. Honestly, like if we did do it on stream, I don't even know what days we'd be able to, because um, we do the PS2 Gauntlet thing most nights and then on saturdays we're already finishing odin sphere so we like don't really have much of a choice just play it on canceled podcast nights like i'd be perfectly fine with doing that um i just don't know if i personally want to wait that long in between <laughs> in between play sessions to be honest with you um because like i just want to play i just want to play more of it I don't think we're going to make it before the ad starts. Hold on. I can. I do have a snooze button. I always forget that I have a snooze button. There here. we go. Make the ad oh, wait for a moment. Okay. So that we can we can just play a little I, bit longer I and, like I said, end the stream. Why not check out the town? You'd be cool with seeing more of it on stream? So I'm definitely down to play more of it on stream. I just don't know what nights. What do you guys like? See, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think maybe we'll do it on stream in the future or something. Um, I mean, if you guys really, really want to see it, of course I will. But it feels weird doing it just kind of from the middle and then finishing it on stream too. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. If that's what you guys want, I'll do it. But it feels a little bit weird, you know, being, being six chapters in and then uh, starting up a playthrough from, from beginning to end. But uh, let me know your thoughts. So, you can let me know on Discord or whatever, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> Trust me, as much as I want to play this game more often, I hardly have time to play video games. So at the end of the day, it's not like I'd be playing much in between streams anyways. No material, <laughs> as no sad as it is, man. Oh, hi there, uh, Mr. Guy. This is actually one thing that I did need to do in my last playthrough. I think I, I had one or two summons busy, that I still need to fight with him. I can't remember which ones I did and which ones I didn't, but I, I don't think I did all of the stuff with him yet. So there is that. We'll buy that just to have one. You yeah. don't really care if you see all of it. You I just want to see stuff here and there. Fair, theory. fair. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it. Do it. Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia. Something what? Summons? Holy shit. No way. Be found in nature, Impossible. I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Do whatever your little heart desires. <laughs> Thanks, love. I'm glad I have your permission. <laughs> Jelly is developing a new combat simulator VR missions. As you gather more and more battle intel, special missions allowing you to battle summons will become available. Talk to Chadley if you want to give them a go. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. Will do, Mr. Chadley. Will do, man. Uh, excuse me, people. Do you mind getting the fuck out of the way? Do you not see me trying to run around here? Is that how buying things works? Truthfully, you just enjoy whatever I stream? Well, I appreciate it, guys. You all are awesome. I don't think I could ever say it enough. But I really do appreciate you all just kind of, you know, hanging out with me while I, while I play shit and bullshit and be stupid. <laughs> I don't remember what we actually have to do before, uh, before we go back to, to Aerith at the orphanage. Do we need anything, though? Not really. Nah, we don't need any of that junk. It's fine, man. What what good are accessories anyways, right? Nobody nobody cares about accessories. No grown-ups allowed. Little twerps. Won't let me into their secret hideout. That won't last forever. They'll let me in eventually. I already went that way. Let's go around the other direction. But yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe we will. Maybe we will then. On on cancel podcast nights, maybe it'll be uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Night. That seems like a pretty decent idea to me. And uh, maybe just like random streams in general, that'll be what it is. Although, with that said, 
Uh, this month is going to be a little fucked up because I have a dentist appointment on my usual beginning of the, the month Wednesday community stream playing like GeoGuessr and stupid shit like that. So I won't be able to do that this Wednesday, but maybe next Wednesday, hopefully not this coming, but the one after that, we'll be able to just uh, play some stuff together. Just whoever whoever is available to get online and wants to play some stuff. Uh, we just we play like some GeoGuessr and, and like Uno stupid stuff online. Just whatever, you know, is free and available to everyone. And, uh, yeah, we just we just be dumb and have some fun with it. And I tried to do that usually the first week of every month. Although, like I said, this time I think it's going to be just a week late, sadly. But is what it is, I suppose. If you get enough subscribers and bits, then can I have a main coon? <laughs> oh, my lord, love. I love you. Yes. Okay, sure. If we if we somehow get thousands of subscribers, then uh, I promise I will get you a main coon earlier than what I originally said. Even though I already told you you're going to get a main coon, <laughs> like I'm going to buy you one eventually, regardless. It's not like you're not going to get one, but yeah, sure, we can get one early. Is that is that okay? You love me too. No, I don't know if those those faces you. are a uh, a good surprise face or a bad surprise face, but. <laughs> Hi, child. I remember you. Where's Eric? The leaf house. That is what I originally said. Yes, but there you go. If we if we somehow get thousands of subscribers, then uh, whatever. I will buy you a cat early. They're going to be here forever. I mean, that's that's the that's the hope, right? I think that's what we. Oh, oh. Fuck. I think I think I took too long to hit the snooze button. Oh no. It just says ad starting soon. Is the ad running? I can't tell. <laughs> it just says ad starting soon. What is it doing? Is there an ad running? Is there not an ad running? Okay, there's an ad running. Holy fuck. Fuck. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to hit the button. We won't do anything else. We'll stay here. We'll stay paused. We'll just... We'll chit-chat for a minute and a half. So no one has to, to miss anything important. <laughs> oh, man. You're subscribed because you want a main coon? Okay. Okay. So I see no ads. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's the only reason you're subscribed is because you want a main coon. If you if you didn't want to uh if you didn't want a main coon, you wouldn't be subscribed to me. That's rude. I saw it Oh, Jesus, I can't type. I saw it this time. Was literally seconds late to hit the button. Lol. We are just chilling till they end. No worries. Not missing anything. <laughs> anything. There you go. That's how, that's how you type. They should be ending any second now. We're almost there. You were subscribed before the new deal? I know you were, love. I'm just picking on you. You sent me a message on Discord, by the way? Oh, yeah, which reminds me. I also need to see at the, uh, at the thing that silence broke, which I think he said was on Discord. Oh, he probably put it on the other Discord that we're on together, actually, now that I think about it. Do, do, do. So maybe... This one? No? I don't know. I'm not saying... Oh, I didn't mean to join that voice chat. Get out of that. <laughs> I don't know, man. In case you want to join us. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I saw your message. What uh, what day is the, the drag show? Like, would I even be able to go? Is it a day that I'm off? Or is it a day that I'm working? Because... Obviously, if I'm working, that's going to be There's a bit of a problem. 
sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah. It's a Saturday, maybe then. They ran away oh, wait. after this creepy guy wearing black clothes. Do I have Saturdays or Sundays off? I have Saturdays. That's what I thought. You're working that morning and then going it's to the show guy after? Who's always stumbling That's around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. Dun, dun, dun. Like dun. That, that's a I'm thing, by out. the way. <laughs> I know someone who fits that In the games. <laughs> I'll come with. Okay. They didn't really come explain on. it in the first game. Um, they, they may have mentioned it. I don't really remember. But it has it, it has to do with the experiments that uh, one of the ex Shinra scientists were doing on, on people to try to turn them into, essentially, into super soldiers. Um, anyways, it's explained a little bit more or shown off a little bit more in the movie, the Final Fantasy VII movie, uh, cri not Crisis Core, that's the game. What the hell is it called? I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, yep, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> you haven't posted yet, your break's at 120, 130, okay, okay, okay. I will be sure to look at it when you do. That's right around the time that we're ending the stream, so I'll be able to look at it as soon as I get off, basically. Oats! Oats! Oats and goats. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there Hi, guys. Are out there. That's Don't fine. Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. I'll kick right his now, ass, let's man. Let's worry about the kids. Come on. Fuck them kids. I'm gonna kick some ass. Coworker and her daughter are going. Your sister and maybe your mother, and then our friends too. Everybody's going to this thing, aren't they, dude? Holy hell! But are our eyes real to look at it? How can the game be real if our eyes aren't real? You know what I mean? Fucking deep, bro. Anyways, the guys, like slide. I was saying, be careful. I will be, kid. Chill. Uh, <laughs> sadly, that's all we really have time for tonight. I do have to, uh, you know, get a shower and 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 eat and do things because work fucking sucks and it slowly drains my entire soul from my body. But uh, that's a story for another day. <laughs> Anyways, guys, no, thank you. Seriously, thank you all for being here. Chocobo Noodle Roo, Silence Nate. Uh, Psycho, anybody else that stopped in that I'm missing for some reason, doesn't matter. I appreciate you all. Thank you all for being here, really. It's awesome. You guys are the best, and I love you all. Uh, as far as the podcast and Sundays and things going forward, hopefully next Sunday we'll be doing the podcast. I gave uh, the Dorseman a few games to to play so that we could cover them on the podcast and he has begun the process of doing so he just didn't feel that he had enough exposure to them to form solid opinions so he wanted to play a little bit more before he did the podcast hence why we didn't tonight so hopefully next sunday we'll be doing that but if not then i guess we'll be playing some final fantasy 7 remake yeah everybody seems to be into that and then uh if we do any random streams here or there or whatever It'll probably be Final Fantasy VII as well, unless unless it's another situation like with Gran Turismo VII where I just get a game that I really want to play. So, you know, fuck it, we'll play that. Uh, other than that, uh, I have I have links and things for, like, my shorts that I do on YouTube. Those have been fun. I don't get to post them too often, like, once a week, but those are there. They're cool. Um, that's that's really it. the only other thing I'm doing other than Twitch. But there's there's a link tree thing that I got. It's, it's posted here somewhere. Um, it's... Uh, I could link it again, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, we'll be back uh, today, Sunday, so I'm off tomorrow. We'll be back Tuesday with more of the PS2 Gauntlet, playing something from my PS2 collection that is ever-growing. We are quickly approaching 10% of the collection being owned, but, I mean, that's a tiny portion, really. 10% sounds like a lot until you realize that you still have, like... 1600 more to go like it's you know <laughs> it's insane man there's just so many games but anyways posture check kind of a a, a weird time to do a posture check but uh, i'm sitting up straight i got you boy we good we gucci i mean i'm sitting cross-legged so i don't know how good that is for for posture or whatever but i am actually sitting up straight so there's that 
anyways, guys, uh, that's that's pretty much all I got. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye, and have a good night. The shatter bomb or the fire single or double barrels of plasma grenade that explodes upon impact. Less